What's going on guys, Assalamu alaikum, welcome to Amigos Code. In this video, I want to show you how I've built this awesome tool that allows me to take a bunch of videos, extract the text, get the captions, and then translate those captions so that you can have subtitles on my videos and throughout the website. The reason why I decided to build this myself was because it was something really custom, going through a bunch of folders, extracting the audio, convert the text, and then generate as many languages or captions for the languages that I wanted because you guys seem to be all around the world. And uh, I could have actually purchased something, but I felt like, you know, what would be the most efficient and cheapest way for me to achieve this? And to be honest, this tool didn't take me long to build. So I've built it a while ago. I've been using it without no tests. I know, I know, calm down, don't, don't yell at me, I know, no tests, but this is something that I've been hacking and I'm not going to sell this tool nor take into production just yet because it's not ready, but this just allows me to basically test the tool and see it works and um, you can see from this diagram, uh, this can actually uh, be expanded and you can actually make a product out of it. If you're new to my channel, literally take two seconds and subscribe also smash the like button literally smash the like button so that i can keep on recording these videos two weeks ago i've actually released the java masterclass course and uh, this actually uh, i'm actually taking subscriptions and the enrollment will be very soon so just subscribe and you'll get notified when i release the course but this is a 20 hour course teaching you pretty much what you need in order for you to be confident and go out there to be a Java software engineer. So many of my students have managed to secure jobs, including Bianca, Zhen Yang, Sai, and a bunch of other people. So this is why I decided to take this course. And actually I did teach this course at a bootcamp for about a year. This was live teaching. And I was like, do you know what? Let me just take this course and um, you know make it available on my website so that all of you can benefit at a cheaper price so go ahead and subscribe you'll see there's a form in here and i'll send you some more information about the course when it gets released and also you get a 30 percent off let me now show you how i built this awesome tool that i was talking about so in order for me to take some speech and convert that into text. I'm actually using this company called Assembly AI. And to be honest, I've tried many of them and these guys are amazing. So you can literally take any audio and convert that into text. And then from that, you can build literally anything you want. What I really like about them is that they have an amazing and straightforward API. So if I click on developers, and then in here, documentation, you can see that it's well organized. The authentication is really easy and you can see all the steps in here. And also they have web books, which is, am <laughs> and also they have web books, which is amazing. Uh, but basically, if you also want to build real time streaming transcription, you can do it. So live transcription. So if you want, for example, I know, I know just imagine that this video was live and you wanted to get the uh, captions in many different language, you could actually build something like that using their API. So this is what I'm gonna be using. And if you want to experiment and basically build something like this, I'm gonna leave a link under the description of this video where you can learn more about Assembly AI. Go ahead and sign up. It's very affordable and you can start building awesome tools that will make you money. So the idea is very simple. I've got my CLI application. I'll show you a demo in a second. But basically, I've got this CLI tool that takes a video, extracts the audio using FFmpeg. Maybe there's a better name for this or maybe I'm not pronouncing this. But basically, this is an open source tool that allows you to perform a bunch of manipulations with the uh, video basically right so from this here you can see in so this is the input and then the output i'm getting the mp3 from this video i'm getting the audio so then what i do with the audio i upload the audio into a bucket and when the audio is inside of this bucket assembly ai 
picks it up. So it picks it up and then what it does, it basically does its magic. So this is, you know, really, really serious stuff and they're really good at it. So what they do then, they actually spit out, they spit out the subtitle or the .srt file into a bucket. Now, my application, my CLI tool is actually polling. So I actually have to, you know, perform a series of get requests to see whether the request I've made indeed has completed. And if it does, then what I do is I then take the uh, subtitle, put it into another bucket. So this bucket right here, this is actually my bucket. I've got full control. And if I want to build, you know, co complex um, solution with, um, you know, lambdas and uh, step functions, I can do it, right? So also applying security to my bucket and whatnot, I can do it. So this is assembly AI world, which I have no control. So then I take this guy right here. So this subtitle in here, and I can perform now a translation into as many languages as I want. So if I want Portuguese, Spanish, Arabic, literally any language, literally any language, I can take that subtitle and then generate the other versions for each of these specific languages in here and then put it yet inside of the bucket. So this could be the same bucket under a different path. And then I can basically upload onto the video. Let me actually show you this in action. So in here, I've got this folder under my desktop and it's inside of reviews. And then I've got MP4 with Sci video. Now this guy is, um, it's an amazing story, which I'm going to record a video very soon, but he managed to get a job at Amazon through my courses. And uh, this is, this is the beauty, right? So I'm giving you the contents and if you go through them, work hard, engage, ask questions, you can do it. So Sai is actually a career switcher and you can go on my website and, you know, listen to what he has to say, but basically, so this is the MP4. This is a video, right? Now let's get the audio from it, upload to assembly AI, and then basically get the captions from it. So let me actually open Goland, right? So in here, there's a bunch of code, which I'm not going to go through every, every single thing, but you can see there's stuff for translation. There's errors. There's a uh, FF MPEG. So this is the code that you saw. This is the extraction bit. And, um, and then you've got some helpers, uh, basically verifying the audio type and checking the response code, but really you've got the main, uh, dot go. So this is where everything happens. And by the way, this is not completed. So ideally what I want to do is, you know, have a CLI tool and whatnot, but this is the MP4 directory. Then I'm going to walk through the directory. So every single file in it, extract the audio. So basically here, I'm just uh, adding this into the files uh, array in here. And I'm checking whether the binary is there and then I'm looping and I'm, I'm creating an empty MP3 folder. And basically I'm extra extracting the audio in here. So let me, I'll, I'll run this in a second. Right. And then I think they aim to process the video or the file. I think it's within 15 or 20% of, of the, 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 the length. So if it's, I think one, one minute video, then it should take 20 or 25 seconds, something like that. But basically here, I'm just basically grabbing a bunch of these audios and you can see here, I'm actually doing this concurrently using go routines. And um, then I actually wait until every single audio is done. And then here, this is where I upload. So here uploading the file. And if I scroll down, then I actually submit the request. So now this is me saying, right. So now you can go and basically um start your your magic basically right and then after that so again using go routines so everything is super fast and once basically uh what do i do do i wait for it no so right so then i go for processing so then i actually use a bunch of go routines yet and then i check whether i can fetch the results right if it's completed 
then it's fine. Otherwise, I just keep on um, uh, waiting. So I think there's a wait time. Yeah. So here, uh, time by the second. And then in here, if uh, it doesn't exist, I create the folder. And you can see that this is straightforward. And then here, I'm actually waiting so that everything completes. But let me actually run this so you see the magic. With Assembly AI, you have to authenticate first. And within the documentation, have a look how to uh, authenticate. So authentication is handled by the authorization header. So here they have an example where you pretty much just say authorization and then you are given an API token. It's as simple as that. So I already have everything configured within Goland. And if you're not sure how to configure environment variables, just go to edit configurations in here and then you can set up your environment variables. So have a look, you can see environment and I've got the AWS and, and, and other environment variables. But basically now if I scroll up in here, what I'm gonna do is so there's a bunch of code for AWS translation. You can see it here, but so extract audio and transcribe. So basically this is the path as you've seen. So let me just run it and have a look. So creating folder under one MP3 will be processed. So basically it then um, extracting the audio. Now it's uploading the file to assembly AI and so zero files uploaded, failed. So now it's sleeping for one minute, right? So waiting for one transcription to finish. So by the time that this finishes, we should have the captions. So basically it's one minute because I'm not sure whether if it's 30% uh, or 40% of um, the length of the audio, but basically if I go now to the uh, folder in here, so this is almost four minutes and basically uh, 20, I think 30% basically or 25. But if I, if I go back, you see that we have the MP3. So this is the uh, file that was uploaded to assembly AI. And now within one minute, we should have the SRT folder. There we go. Have a look. So now if I open this up, you can see that we have Sci SRT. Now let me open this and in here I've got Sublime, so SRT, Sci, and then this is the English and have a look. So hi everybody, my name is Sai. So it actually capitalized his name correctly and I'm a recent career switcher who has broken into software engineering. So a little bit of background on me. I've actually had about a decade or a decade <laughs> of experience working in various business roles, started my career and you can see this is amazing, right? So let me show you the actual video. So if I play the video. Hi everybody, my name is Sai and I am a recent career switcher uh, who has broken into software engineering. And you can see that he said, uh, who, he said, uh, hi, my name is Sai. And then who, and then he said, uh, basically, uh, uh, right. So that actually is uh, taken off by assembly AI because it knows that, you know, sometimes we say, uh, or we say, so, or we say, mm. so you can see that it's quite clever. Now, obviously what we can do is take the subtitles now and actually embed them into the actual video. So let me actually see if I still have the script that I used before. And let me see the into desktop. And then I think it was reviews MP4 LS. You can see that we have the um, um, subtitles here or the captions and then the video. And I think this was FF and there we go. I think I was doing this for a video called Gabriella. So this should be Sci MP4. So Sci dot SRT. And then we have served the video as the output, run that. And there we go. So that's finished. Now, if I type LS, you can see that we have this subbed video. Let's actually now have a look at this video. So if I play this, Hi everybody, my name is Sai and have a I look. A recent career switcher uh, who has broken into software engineering. So a little bit of background on me. 
I've actually had I've actually had about a decade of experience working in various businesses. So this is it, guys. So you can see that this is super powerful, and you can actually build. You know, you can package all of this and uh, build it as your own, you know, custom solution, and you know, make money of it. So uh, per video, you can charge. I don't know. Um, basically, you could just think about the business model that you want to take this forward. So. To be honest, this is it. The last thing which I want to show you is the actual dashboard for Assembly AI. So here you can see that I've submitted one transcription today and look at the price. So this is 0.06 cents. You can see that this is quite affordable in here. And you can see uh, this was the actual ID and this is how much money I do have and this is my api key which is not complete basically so you're not going to gain access to it and um yeah so you can see that it's quite straightforward you can view all the reports um so the duration i think yeah so i think yeah the video was four minutes in here and yeah so there's not much in here but you can see that assembly ai it's an awesome tool and service that allows you to take speech to text. One last thing that I want to talk to you is the architecture for this application right here. So in here, to be honest, because I was hacking this tool, if I was to take this to production and wanted to make money of it, I would change the entire thing into serverless. So mainly introducing lambdas and triggers to buckets as well as step functions and also uh, probably i'll store some state in one way or another using a nosql database right so all of this would actually go because you know you can see that this is actually running off my machine but basically you know the end result is to actually have the video with the subtitles already or maybe have like a slack or discord message saying oh by the way you've just uh, oh actually yeah, so I would basically upload the um, the actual uh, video or the MP3 file, the audio, and then the end result would be like a message. Hey, by the way, here's your SRT to download, or maybe the video already embedded with the subtitles ready to go, right? So what I want you to do is I want to challenge you, right? So take this idea and then see if you can improve on this architecture, right? So have your own architecture, think how you would handle things and um, submit that into Discord. So Discord, there's, um, I think it's Code Reviews channel. And what I'm gonna do is if there is enough submissions, I will go through your architecture diagrams and also mine and then discuss and see, you know, the possible um, or the good things and the bad things about your architecture diagram. And um, yeah, so this was uh, super fun to build. Let me know if you want me to open source this. So I didn't show you much of the code because to be honest, it's it's a big mess. But um, yeah, if you want me to open source this, as, you, as, as, um, as I said before, this is written in Golang. I'm planning on recording a video just on Golang very soon. Um, yeah, so this off for now. Go ahead and smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and uh, please go and subscribe to the Java Master class course, which is coming very soon, packed with awesome content. This is all for now. I'll catch you on the next one. Assalamu alaikum.